My name's Monica and I'm the Huntington's WA Youth Liaison Officer and I'm the Chief Organiser for the first ever HDYO Australia and New Zealand camp. I guess probably one of the primary goals is peer support and introduction and forming a community for young people. Education, um, so a lot of the sessions are informing young people about topics that are important to them in their age group. The biggest thing really is one, letting young people know that they're not alone. Um, Australia and New Zealand are two very vast places. Um, so most of these young people have never met anybody with HD, so it brings them all together in one place. They have a common bond instantly, um, and they get to learn a lot that maybe they haven't had access to before. Yeah, yeah, camp's been great. Um, it's just been such a different experience. I've never, I've never met anyone else with Huntington's in my life. So meeting, you know, who's 14, who's 15, you know, similar age to me has just been seriously mind-blowing and just empowering. It's good to like meet people in the same boat as us and like relate, be able to relate to them. And all the talks were good, like especially the one about testing yesterday. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, like really helpful. So. Yeah, and it's interesting hearing like other people that are sort of like the same age. Yeah, and also yeah. people that are like got quite different that it's sort mm. of an experience that we might have later. Later in so life, yeah. Like different perspectives. Kind of like screw, like we might experience this, but also like good to sort of get your kids up, to yeah, and, like, how to yeah. cope with some stuff that we might experience in the future. Yeah, um, it's an opportunity for us to find all these people that have the same problem, that or the same things we're going through, and. Um, yeah, it really gives us that opportunity to talk openly and just, just have fun at the same time and realise that what we do, all our lives are still normal in a way. We're not just that ridiculously different to other people. Lasting connections to go home with. So when they're having a tough time at home, they have a whole group of people who, one, know their story at this point, have a similar experience but can really relate to what they're going through um, and that gives them a lot of support after camp. The fact that we got here and everyone came from different states. That was pretty cool, yeah. Um, and now like we're all friends like and even today like some like I've been here two or three days and still don't know everyone but you know like you swim up to someone in the pool and like they'll be like oh hi my name is whatever like yeah. yeah so everyone's just so friendly. I was actually on borderline pulling a sickie the time before. <laughs> um, but I sort of pushed my way through it and the first day after being at the airport for so many hours I was still ready to go home. But yeah, no, I'm pushed through it. It's, it's worth it in the end, definitely. And it's not as boring as you think. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's great fun, um, especially for youth because they don't have a lot of time to just be kids and have fun um, when they've been impacted by um, HD so I would definitely recommend it to uh, any young people that I know that have been impacted by the disease. I think it's actually probably exceeded all my expectations so far. I guess the only thing that I would really hope is that yeah this, this is the first of many. Um, the young people have been amazing, they've enjoyed everything, we've had a wonderful time at, at this particular place. They've got a lot out of the programs and, and sessions so far so yeah I, I guess that, that this is the first of many.